we'll start recording. All right, YouTube, we're going to play some Legacy Brick Stelver. So the only, like, I really like this deck. So that was the first kind of poor set that I've played with it since I started picking it up. The only, I really like the whole list. The only cards I'm not sure about, I'm not sure about Lava Mancer in the main. I'm not sure about Snapcaster Mage, and I'm not sure about Engineered Explosives. Those are the only cards that like are a little little weird to me. <clears throat> How's the chat doing this morning? I hope you're all having a good day. Good start to your Saturday. All right, Mulligan this. Okay. Keep what do we have on top? Force of Will. We'll put it on top. Scare our opponent. I'm gonna ponder for a brain for another land. The last thing that we want to do is okay. That's good. So We probably want the days this turn, so let's just go like this. There's a chance that we need to days. Yeah. How are you doing, Magus? All right, we'll let that go. It does kind of suck that we can't play our Pyromancer this turn, so maybe I should have dazed that. I should play land and pass. I guess there's merit to brainstorming. Because we could hit. Okay, so I don't think we want either of these. I would assume we're playing against like a combo deck. Good. Good, good. It's a good day. This is a baleful strix so we're gonna daze it. A bit sad in a way to stream modern. Oh yeah, I decided not to play modern today. Burning Wish. All right. I don't know what that gets, but it's probably not good for me. This is gonna let me get my um, Pyromancer in play with two counter spells, which is nice, and then a Brainstorm for next turn. I usually play modern. I usually play I play a lot of Grixis Death Shadow when I stream here. That's my cup of tea. You appear to be a streamer yourself, Mr. Magus. I'm not sure you can get the check mark by being the MVP viewer. This can't be good for me. Like, what does this do? This just has to be bad, right? I've been detected. Like, I, I feel like I'm supposed to force this. If they have a spell curse me, I can daze. And then I have a f kind of like a, I have a brainstorm to rebuild. I don't know if this is right to do, but. I feel like this card, them resolving this is not good. Like, I think they're probably like a sneak and show deck. We can hit a Thoughts. Thoughtsies is probably our best draw here. Um, we could draw Wasteland, which I'm kind of into. Yeah, I'm going to waste them. 
we'll turn our uh, might turn our days on, and then hopefully we can figure out what's going on with those other two cards next turn. But we do we're starting to tax our resources a little bit. I don't think there are any non-storm decks running Burning Wish, right? I don't know, Vegas. I don't play too too much Legacy. Impulse. I kind of just want to counter this too. No. What I'm going to do is I'm going to brainstorm at the end of my turn. So I get another elemental. And then I'm going to play another young pyromancer. Just check how much you goldfish. It's tough to do. While you're, well, I'm not good at multitasking. The sage, you. That's bad. All right, that's nice. So I want to draw put. Fortunately, I can't get all of these. So we're going to put this back and then this back here. Oh, I have my second monitor. I'm just bad at multitasking. Especially with a deck that I'm not like super familiar with. So we have six. We actually have lethal next turn. So if they don't have both pieces here, we're in good shape. We can, right? Two, four. Okay. No, we couldn't. We were, well, we're, we're good now. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah. We're good now, but I should have... That didn't necessarily do it for us. Yeah. All right. Because I turn off Beseju, right? By putting on the most pressure with the days on top. Okay, so Fluster Storm, good. Pyroblast, good. Thoughtseize, good. I think Surgical is probably good because we have so many so many discard spells. True Name, not good. A Braid, not good. Grim Lava Mancer, not good. That's nine cards. We could just cut all of our bolts. Let's see what this looks like. I think it's I think it's sneak and show. I'm gonna try this. I could be convinced that like these young pyromancers are too slow and I should leave in some bolts. Maybe Diabolic Edict, but they're probably playing like the Omni Shell. <laughs> and Diabolic Edict does hit Emrakul. But once they already have omniscience in play, I don't know if that's worth it or not. Omni science. I'm gonna submit like this. So what do you usually stream, I guess? Alright, we're gonna keep. We got a Delverino. Oh, we're on the they put us on the play. That's odd. Sand is nice. Not really streaming active anymore, just here and there. Oh, uh, okay. Used to be a streamer. I think I'm gonna brain. I think we're gonna flip this Delver. I think this is the plan. If my opponent pierces this, I can daze it, and that gives me another mana. If, even if we miss. It's kind of cool how days can sometimes make mana. Okay, so let's put this Wasteland back. 
And then let's put this ponder underneath. Reveal the ponder. Then fetch a red land and get a ponderosa going on. Because we don't want the top card of our deck. Make sure to play our land. Because that would be bad if we didn't. <clears throat> Why'd you stop streaming? It's like you're trying to do it for a living and the cash just wasn't there or got bored of it. Ah, oh, we don't want any of those. Shuffle that away. I don't want you, Wasteland. I didn't enjoy magic anymore. Yeah, that's tough. Oh, wow, this Wasteland might be good. Probably got burned out. Yeah, that'll do it. I stream between two and four times a week. I've been doing that for pretty consistently. and It's been, like, it's been good. I haven't really had the burnt out yet. I'm going to waste the hell out of this Valk. I've never been quite consistent enough to get a partner. I've always hovered around like 16 subs, like 40, between 30 and 40 viewers, probably closer to 40 whenever I play, 40, 50 whenever I play Death Shadow, because Modern is just the most popular format. Yeah, so now we're just going to Wasteland. If I draw a Flooded Strand next turn, that's going to be annoying, because I shuffled off my Ponder, and my Ponder was literally Wasteland, Flooded Strand, uh, Delver. Incoming Philly Boy. Philly Boy. Philly Boy. A braid. Okay. We're going to let that go. Yeah, this is a flooded strand. Blue Delta. No. At least it wasn't a flooded strand. All right, we're just going to play, we're going to attack for one, play Pyromancer, and then pass, keep this fetch land. We can't, unfortunately, we can't, like, I don't think we can afford to uh, play the Delver game with the fetch land. We just got to, we just have to go for it here. But, like, having the fetch land might be good if we hit a Brainstorm. All right, you got it. I wish I had like a him. Oh, there's a Besaju. That's not good. So this adds one mana. Yeah, I think we. Well, so I could force this because we're not going to be able to force like a show and tell. So I think I am. We're just going to keep keep my Delver around. We just need the max clock. Now that they've shown us this, and like we can maybe punish it, make it so that I don't know they can't use it. Because this flips, we hit them for six. Come on, Delver. Yes. So I don't want a surgical because they didn't shuffle. Unless we think they didn't shuffle on purpose. Do we think they didn't shuffle on purpose? I also kind of want the most permanents in play. I guess I just hit this. 
So he didn't shuffle last turn. So maybe there's a chance that they want the cards on top. Because this deck does play Thoughtseize. So they might have like hit, they might have like two ways to put it in. Okay, so this means that they probably, um, is that a Niv? Wow. Railmaster, Lava Mancer, Show and Tell, Pyroclasm, okay. So this could mean that they, the card that they kept on top was like a force, was like a, uh, cause, cause they, they couldn't cantrip again. But it could have been a way to put the omniscience into play. Oh. Yeah. That's something, right? So they put two cards on the bottom. And they scoop it up. All right. Go team. I think we're supposed to dominate there, though. Like, if we don't win that matchup, then, like, why are we playing this deck? IMO. <clears throat> I appreciate everybody for showing up and hanging out today. Um, my name is Dylan Hubby. You're here in my stream. And if you guys like what you see, please hit the follow button. All of my streams are archived on YouTube, which is linked below. If you're on YouTube, my Twitch is linked below. So if you want to support me further, head on over to each one of those and like or subscribe. Uh, card Hoarder, all the cards in here. This stream are brought to you by Card Hoarder. They're the best bot chain in the business, so you should check them out. And I went to play Magic at a store in upstate New York called Gamer Craze. Uh, Gamer Craze it fosters like a college environment. There's three or four colleges right there, so they have good competitive prices. And if you ever want to chat Magic with me, check me out on Twitter, which is linked below in YouTube and um, Twitch. So we're on the play, which is sweet. This hand is not sweet, though. This hand's okay. I mean, it's not that good. We need to get to three mana, which could be difficult. We do actually want this, so I'm, I'm actually going to hold off my preordain because we already know that we want the top card. My opponent thought seizes me. I think I'm just going to let it happen. Okay. Definitely not going to let a chalice happen. It does kind of suck having to get rid of this second land. Okay. We played a pretty good match against lands uh, last last round or last league. I think we just want we just want lands at this point. Like we want to make sure that we don't get wastelanded. We want to get this true name. It might be. Silver Library, you got it. All right. Hopefully, we can put enough pressure on them to where this they can't just go nuts with this library. This is probably like an aggro loan deck. Looks like the deck. Yeah, it looks like a Barra kind of deck. All right, you got it. Yeah, if we have a land on top, we could be in pretty good shape. It's not quite a land. We don't want any of these. If we get wasted, we're just like so dead. We can't beat Wasteland. We can't beat Wasteland, we can't beat 
Probably Liliana the Veil bodies us. Wish I knew more about what my opponent was doing. It's alone. No, someone's crying. Okay, so yeah, they're definitely like the. They're definitely a. Oh, you want to go to Wasteland? Wasteland and a Bob. Tilt. All right, we're going to dig for another land. All right, we did hit another land. Um, we don't need, we'll put this underneath. Then we get to draw a card off Bob, which is really bad. But we get to play Gurma Gangler, which is good. All these, no, I'm never going to be able to cast these Tree Nemesis, which suck. We did, but it's going to be too late. My opponent's going to bury me with Bob. This Bob in library is just going to be so good. Just hopefully they can't beat this Gurmai Gangler, which I would be extremely surprised if they couldn't. Chalice on one. Wasteland. They wasteland my wasteland. So I think I'm going to bolt them at the end of the turn because we only have one. Um, we only have one. Uh, a braid left in our deck. We really have to dodge a lot to win this game. There's a wasteland. I don't necessarily think the block's wrong, but because this is how they lose, right? Vampire Hex Mage. So we don't know if they have. They've crop rotation, we're dead. I guess we're not dead yet. Cycle. That block. We know they don't. There's a chalice in play. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. Okay, so they, they revealed a stage. So now they can 2020 me two different ways. But they have to be able to play two lands. So here comes, here comes the Dark Depths, and again they have two different ways to deal with the Dark Depths. That probably cooks us. Yeah, we're dead as a doorknob. Unless they let us, they don't do it immediately. But now they can waste us. And then play it and they got us. It's kind of a clunky draw. Could have wasted right there, but... I probably should have just because I would have gotten something out of it. Stifle doesn't work because of uh, Chalice. Marit Raj. Oh, it's your wasteland. All right. You got it. I thought we had a chance. We kind of had a chance there. All right. So Diabolic Edict comes in. A braid comes in. I think Thoughtseize comes in. Cards I don't really want. I want days. 
True aim seems a little clunky. But they can't chump it. I'm going to try to cut True Name and Lava Land. I think that's the plan. I'm going to keep all our counter magic. Hey, Archmage, how you doing? Oh, man, that was a good stretch. That was a good stretch. Alright, we'll go back to play first. Oh, I don't think his hand's that good. Thoughtsies, I can bolt some critters, and I have a daze, but I don't have a threat. But I can also draw a cantrip. I have a lot of lands, so I'm not going to get wasteland. I think I'm going to keep this hand because I have a lot of lands, and I have three different kinds of disruptions. Of disruption. Like, I'm not susceptible to wasteland. I'm just gonna get rid of this chalice. Like, there's a chance that I can stub it, but I, I think, or I can daze it, but they'll probably just play around it. Like that, the decay is, oh, oh that's, all, that's what they ripped off the top. Okay, the decay is like a little annoying. All right, I can't either. Pretty excited about it. Mox Diamond. Okay, so we still know everything in their hand. Wizard's Forest. Flavored and Catacombs. Him. Him or I barely knew her. Alright. If I could draw a Gurmag Angler, that would be nice. That's basically where my game were. What am I looking for? I'm basically looking for just Gurmag. So I'm going to hold this fetch land. Um, I can get my Pyromancer hit. With a decay. So another hand stage stage. Okay, I think I want this pyromancer, but I don't really want these other cards. And then we can find like a way to deal with this decay. I could also just bolt my opponent and get a 1-1. One -one. I think we stacked that right. That's bad. I should have uh, kind of dazed it. Now we're in trouble because they found a loam. Did we stack it right? Oh, no, we didn't. We dealt. Okay, so there's Dark Depth. So we got to force this. Oh, we're just, like, so dead. Yeah, because, like, there's just nothing we can do. I should have mulliganed my first hand. I think this hand proves that. I think the way that game turned shows that I should have mulliganed my first hand. My, my first seven.
I think I want to make this snap a K command, this EE a marsh casualties, and the lava man a dismember. I think that's the only things that I would want to change out of this deck. Yeah, I should have mulliganed my first hand. And that's what we should have taken from that. Even though I have like great disruption, I can't win without a dude. Then maybe I still should have just taken the above decay, though they could have because but like without having a dude, we made it so that we had to take chalice, because they can wait on the chalice and not just jam it on turn two because we're not putting any pressure on them. If we had pressure, we could take an abrupt decay and then daze the chalice probably. So that's kind of just how it all circles around to where that hand was garbage because it didn't do anything. So at least we're learning. We're slowly but surely learning. I appreciate y'all for showing up here. Um, if you put, I want to put a little more legacy into my rotation of streams. So if you guys like that, you should head, you should hit the follow button so that I can see the the stream statistically, and then you should head over to my YouTube page and either watch or like the uh, legacy videos that I put over there, and all those are linked below. I just want to make sure the stats are worth it. Okay. Uh, we have no disruption, but I'm going to keep this. We have plenty of lands, so like if we're playing a Delver Mirror, we're in decent shape. I don't know if I'm supposed to keep hands like this in the dark on the play. Like on the draw, probably not. They're going to like force this. Like, what are you? Are we waiting? Whoa. Force pitch force. I guess that makes more sense. Like if you're gonna force pitch force, like Okay, so we're playing against like a combo deck. So we gotta draw something quick. I think it's a combo deck. It could be Miracles as well. You think so? Okay. All right, so you're right. So that's something I should learn. Combo decks will keep their interaction. I'm just going to jam this Trinity Nemesis. I'm going to jam this TNN, get back to basics next turn. We're not playing another threat after this brainstorm. Unless our opponent plays like a Stone Forge Mystic. Okay, the brainstorm locked. I'm gonna hold these lands. Oh, no terminus. Okay. So their brains don't lock. Caracas. So are we playing against a miracle deck? I'm tempted to play another Delver. But if I play another Delver, then I'm not really doing anything. If I get Supreme Verdicted. I'm gonna wait. I want something else. Like I need more interaction. Terminus, sure. But they they also could be a um it could be a different deck than that. Alright, I'm gonna jam one of these delvers now. Because I drew another one. We'll put the fetch land out. 
turn up the heat a little bit. Snapcaster. You gonna plow my Delver? Yeah. Okay. You got it. I'm gonna play the next Delver next turn as well. If they're gonna if they're trying to do if they're dealing with threats like this. Ooh. I do like how many actual threats are in this deck. Like there, there's just a lot. All right, we need a flip. Yes. Oh no! Oh God, Moto, I love, I love Moto. Ugh. Oh, Moto. I just like lagged a little bit. And cost me there. No. Okay. Well, we can just be do it next turn, too. I hope we can also hard cast a force now. I'm gonna bolt them in their upkeep. So you have to go blue land into terminus to win. Okay, nice. Nice. Okay, so I think these kind of decks. In order to watch like the Gooch, he always cuts his wastelands. Because they're not wasting us, so that we can just be like nothing but just gas and interaction all the time. Let's get rid of those. I probably don't need. Though if they are playing Stoneblade, the Abrade's gonna be nice. I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna like kind of try to split it here. Now I'm gonna cut the abrade until I see a Stoneforge Mystic. The only other card I want was Snapcaster Mage, so I'll cut a Force. The Engineer Explosives hasn't been that great because like it's probably okay here. Probably cut a lightning bolt for it. But then if again if we're playing stone blade, like that's pretty bad. Yeah. They needed blue land, like out of their four cards, they needed three perfects. Luna Mulligan. We just don't have a we don't have a threat. And I think we've learned though we have all of our lands. I've literally gotten slapped so much in this league because I haven't had threats. Well, if they have True Name Nemesis, like I don't know if they're Stoneblade or Miracles, and it also um, could hit. It's never gonna hit back to basics, I guess. Yeah, so maybe I shouldn't have it. I think I'm just gonna keep his hand. Like it's all about resources. I think we can play a longer game. Mentor plus tokens, maybe. Okay, that's another good. <clears throat> All right, there's Gerdad. There's Nasty. All right. Mm. 
All right, I'm going to take this Snapcaster Mage, I think. Days this. Or I could just bolt it and look to daze this Jace. I'm going to just take this Snap. I'll probably let this resolve, then bolt it. And then look to Thoughtseize, like, the Council's Judgment and daze the Jace. <clears throat> okay, so they didn't let that go again. I don't think he let it resolve. The batter skull hard cast is an actual threat. It's less of a threat than Jace is, though, right? Let's go like this. Save our fetch land. Because we need blue elemental blast. That changes things. So now I like have to take the Stoneforge Mystic. Because we can't bolt it. And then we just we're not gonna we're gonna have to fight through this. Well, Fluster Storm's a good way to fight through that. Surprised they cracked that fetch land. Not a fan of Fluster Storm. I thought Fluster Storm is my game plan against Council's Judgment. Like, I want to go here, here, and I want to daze the Jays. Or at least that's my plan. And I figure if they have back to bases, I can deal with that. We kind of piss away our fetch land, but such is life. Okay, so they drew land. Um, make them pay, make them pay, they just do it. Okay. That's unfortunate. Then we could have dealt with that, but. And now we're just like super, super duper in trouble. We're playing around days, which is nice. Good on them. get back either. So I'm going to bolt my opponent into the turn just to make it so that I can do something with Snapcaster Mage. There's a chance we have to discard next turn, which I don't really want to do. The Spell Pierce is a nice pickup. We got the J-Boy coming down. Here's the big question. Are we going to snap bolt? If we snap bolt, we're on the battlefield. Which makes this Jace a little... Like, they kind of have to deal with this. I kind of want to snap bolt because it pressures Jace. We have another bolt. And I don't want to have to discard. But just getting on the battlefield, I think, is good. And if they want to, if they want to trade a plow with this Snapcaster Mage, then whatever. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 
I'm gonna hold that land. Cause we don't have to discard. Okay. This makes all of our threats a lot, a lot better. We're going to hard cast this Gurmag Angler. Counterbalance. Yeah, we do have the I'm gonna play this land. Okay. I agree. They got it. That's so tilting. Okay. All right, they fetch it away, and they go down to six, which is convenient number. We have two more bolts left in our deck. The problem is now this Jace is going to resolve. And I don't have my lightning bolt, so I probably messed up. They're just going for that brainstorm. They don't have this. They don't have this. Maybe I should have kept my. Probably should have kept my lightning bolt. I just wanted to get it down underneath the counterbalance so it resolved. Yeah. We can just bounce this. I pretty much need like a true name. Uh, turn off all weirds. I basically need a true name nemesis. And I need like TNN. Yeah, we're good. We're good. The Stone Forge Mystic will get us. Okay, so we're playing against a Stone Blade deck. So I want a little bit more artifact removal. They have counterbalance. Oh, I just cut my forces. I could cut anglers. Like, Gurmag's not that great, but I don't want to cut threats. Plus, their storm doesn't seem that good. Because it's all about creatures and planeswalkers. And I also could bring in Diabolic Edict for their true main nemesis. Yeah, we're going to go like this. can imagine the surgical. 
you imagine her. All right, this hand's good. Do you think they don't have Trinity Nemesis? I feel like if you're a blue-white deck and you have Stoneforge Mystic, it's worth it to have two Trinity. This hand's really good. We're gonna let that go because I'd like to be able to daze a Stoneforge Mystic. They should be almost creatureless pre board. You're just saying to blank removal. No, tilt. I'm gonna play another Delver. We didn't see a terminus in game one, so there's a chance that they're not doing that, right? I just don't know really know what my opponent's doing. And keep up red. Versus like the Delver look. Because I can just keep red anyways, right? That's gonna feel bad if we draw a Don't like red blast. I do. I'd like to red blast to see. All right, give me that. All right, what do we got? Do I want a young pyromancer? Do I want a pyre? I want to draw a pyromancer. I don't think I do. I think I just want to keep all my mana up. Yes. So we had a Delver flip. I think I want to take this Fluster Storm because we can blast this Spell Pierce. We can blast this Spell Pierce this or Spell Pierce this. This Fluster Storm is just going to make everything difficult. Though the Engineered Explosives is also a problem. Yeah, I guess we just take the Explosives. Yeah, we have to take Explosives. Because they can just play explosives on one and then they can pay with it. So we gotta take the E. Yeah, we can't be the E. We hope that they cast True Nemesis or Council Judgment, just a three man spell. That's the best thing for them. Like, as long as they cast a three. Now they're on two turn clock. And we blast that, and we gotcha. <laughs> Got him. All right. We're turning it around, chat. After our gross 1-4. Yeah, so I think I want this to be a Marsh Casualties. This to be a dismember and this to be a Kolagon's command for the next league I play. No, it could just be another last hope.
go grab some more coffee. I'll be right back. Been live for just over two and a half hours. I appreciate y'all for being here. This is awkward. We're going to keep this, I think, but it's awkward. Because when the brainstorm can shuffle away some of our uh, one drops, they're not good. Like this isn't good, which it doesn't look to be. We need the second land. So let's hope that we can get the second land and get a good brainstorm. We could be playing against like Ant and just lose here, but such is life. Nose is stuffy. Yeah, so I think we're playing against Storm. If we are, we're in quite a bit of trouble. <laughs> They're going to take our Brainstorm, which just strands our entire hand. If they don't take Brainstorm, I think we're playing against a fair deck. If they take Brainstorm, yeah, we're in trouble. Don't kill me. Yeah, I definitely think we're playing against Storm. Looks like we're not playing in Storm. My Storm plays main deck Abrupt Decay. So our hand's actually not bad against a fair deck. We got a couple bolts. They're probably gonna name Gurmag Angler. Just to get there too, and then make it so because like I can't delve another one. Yeah. Are we still just playing against Storm? It's got a light. It's got like a. We're gonna play the lava man. Could be playing against like Shardless Age? Man of War. Huh. This has got to be like a, a food chain deck. Maybe. Or like a Shardless Bug deck. Let's get a second red so that we can activate Lava Man. What could we playing against? I think we're probably either playing against like a Lauren, a Lauren, or like a food chain deck, but I'm not really sure. 
All right, you got my prior answer. You bastard. We have a lot of three-turn clock, though. This card's so messed up. All right, so I assume we're playing against like a fair creature deck. If we're doing that, I want to cut these. They look clunky. They have a lot of expensive spells, so. They're probably going to come off the ground pretty well, so Gurmag Angler is not that great. Days on the draw isn't great either. We probably won't take them all out, so let's just move them over there. <coughs> I could just cut these and keep these in just in case there's something weird going on. Yeah, I'm going to try that. Just because I don't 100% know what's exactly happening at the moment. Okay. Would have been nice to blast that. Hey, take it easy, Magus. I think I blast the cantrip. Or baleful strix. Hopefully they don't hit. They hit brainstorm. Wonder if you're last night. So much I'd say you are. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna hit this. Counter target blue spell. Oh shoot. That was a nice draw. <clears throat> what do you play against? So this could be the old Man of War bounce Cabal Therapy thing again. <laughs> Bring something in for one. Okay. I see what's happening. Playing against a big mana deck. They're going to take my true name. Because true name nemesis is going to get me. Okay, jeez. Now we're in trouble. All right, now that they're a veteran explorer deck, I think I want... More big counter spells. Some brew, Jun, that devoted to a deck, and Mono Red Prison. Okay. Those are like two realish decks. They got back a Ponder. So they must have a, an answer rolled up for one of my creatures. <coughs> Excuse me. We're going to leave our fetch land because we can. All right, let's try it out. Hopefully we don't get like deeded. No edict, no deed. Four mana 
green central three is a Leovold. Okay. So I get to kill a Leovold. And then we can brainstorm him. And I don't think I want the explosives. Yeah, this is like some Cabal Therapy mid-range value deck. Seems like full to True Name Nemesis dot deck. Modern Ball at Dice City last weekend with that honest. I never been, I want to go back to I want to go to Dice City, but I've never been. So our opponent goes eat. We can just kill this, but the odds of that happening are pretty low. We have to respond to the first yeet. So I think actually I want my. I hope I stacked it right. I did. Nice. All right, we'll let him have that. We can eat again. Then we'll ee -E boy both of these. Blue, black, crack it. I've got to make sure to fetch before next turn because I have a land on top of my deck. Crack the flowers, so my opponent just gets more mana, just like whatever. They already have a lot. Can't eat the carpet. A little, it's a neat little store comparable to Labyrinth, but it's new, so it has less non-magic stuff. Nice, because I didn't want them to. Uh, I cracked the EE there because I didn't want them to. Uh, I cracked the EE because I didn't want them to untap and gain more life with scavenging ooze. Man, he's got energy. Alright, so now we're hellbent. That wasn't good. So we're dealing we're doing three to deal four. But we hit first, so we're gonna go to nine, then they go to six, and we go to five, and they go to three, and we go to one. So if they don't add to the board, we're in good shape. But I find that not likely. They can't crack that also, or if it's a it takes a turn off the clock. I'm gonna waste their white source. I don't know what they're doing with it, but cut some off white mana unless they fetch. Also, it's out by Wheaton, so it could be drivable for people. I don't know where Wheaton is. So now it's two turns. They get to look at a lot of cards though. It's gonna be my last last league. BT dubs. Unless you're going to the gym. Okay. So I hope my board did my marsh casualties. Plague mirror. All right. Plague mirror kills me. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So now we know we have to be much more aggressive. The EE was good. But we want these Dages and these Marsh Casualties. We don't want Force. Edict's not good. Snap is okay. But we want all of our bases back in our deck. 
Yeah, we're gonna go like this. Where is like the closest metro stop to Wheaton? Sweet. I would like a daze, but we do not have a daze. <clears throat> but we have a Delver on one. With some ways to sculpt. Northward. It's two stops past Silver Spring. Okay. Yeah, I've been meaning to go there. Like, I, I see Dice City at uh, Grand Prix. I see Dice City at uh, um, I see Dice City at Grand Prix. <coughs> Veteran Explorer. That's that's bad. All right, well we're gonna waste them. More than likely, flip. No, that's a good card though. It's kind of good. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go waste this, play Lava Man, and then pass. Probably try to flip Delver in my upkeep. I see they, they also do like some content, which is good. They seem like a pretty good store. They could just go like Therapy Therapy, which I didn't really play around. And that kind of invalidates my Wasteland. And then TNN. They're going to get both my preordains. I'm going to flip this thing in my upkeep for sure. I don't think we're going to win. Yeah, that was a cool dude. Super investing thing in Sogro. I can't imagine his workload. I right, put this under this. Yes. Yeah, I mean, I see he's he's active. All right, let's go get a underground C preordain. I want this other true names, so we're gonna put this on top. We can't cast it yet, but it's... Oh, no, we can get Therapy. I forgot Therapy gets all gets both of them. Therapy just doesn't do one. Oh, that was dumb. That was just a pun. I just forgot the Cabal Therapy. The Cabal Therapy gets both creatures, not just one. This is neat. They get a shuffle from this. Please take my prior thing. At least now I'm free to, if I don't draw land, I chose to not shuffle. Land. Okay, that's all right. Delver down. Now my dazes are like useless.
Cabal Therapy like wrecks me. We're we're in a tough spot. Maybe I'm supposed to have four. I'm probably supposed to have forces in my deck after sideboard just because of like how over the top this deck goes. Yeah, there's recruiter. Recruiter goes and gets Plague Mirror. Plague Mirror, okay. This. Get that before it can grow. Yeah, strikes is whatever. Lava Man is doing some work. It's literally killing all of their creatures. What? At the beginning of your end step, choose target creature in your graveyard. Alright, so we have to do this in response. Return it to the battlefield. Okay. I need a land, because then I can kill this. Brainstorm, ponder. Wrong land. We're just going to pass. Ugh. You want to just beat the snot out of me? Kill this in their end step. I guess I could also just block, block and bolt. Now nah, the lava mancer is just doing so much for me though. Yeah, I'm just gonna take the three. Then bolt this Leovol at the end of their turn. Let that resolve. <clears throat> That's not how that works, right? Yeah, doesn't that doesn't come back in. Oh, it puts it back into their hand. Oh my gosh, I should have murked that thing. Oh, so they're just going to draw infinite cards. Oh, okay. I just didn't know what that thing did. Uh, so I had to go block, kill it. All right, so you get to regenerate. Yeah, we're just like super dead. They just have ground us out. All right, we're going to go to the next game.
Because there's no sense playing that. We can play that for a while, but they're just going to, like, beat us in there. I think I, I think I boarded pretty poorly, which just comes from not knowing what that deck does. Like I should have just I should have just stayed as lean as possible, I think. Like probably should have cut my Gromag Anglers, brought in two Pyroblasts, and maybe brought a Thought Season. And then just called that good. But I appreciate everybody for showing up and hanging out. I'm gonna say hi to my wife and we'll be right back. Bilderstein. Yeah, so I just, I just misevaluated what I was doing in that game. And if I would have like been a hundred percent on it, I would have evaluated that correctly. All right, we're gonna keep this hand. So we have a Delver and a Brainstorm and a Fetch Land. Wow, another better than Explorer deck. Is this the same guy? No. To get destroyed by Cabal Therapy. I shall not block. Skirmag Angler is not what we're looking for. I think it's going to get decayed. Yep. All right. Let's brainstorm. Okay. We hit a force. Probably can put these back. Force is good. Lava Man and Angler actually kind of fight each other, so I probably should have shuffled one of them away. The problem is Lava Man and Angler aren't that great here. All right, get that thing out of here. We already played a land, right? Yeah. So we'll just kill it. All right, now we can shuffle away the angler. So I actually think they have another one. Boy. What's everybody up to today? Tropical Island. So this is like a four color punishing fire deck of some sorts. Didn't play the trop. Just get an underground sea. Let's play this pyromancer. 
play my land, ponder. Hit the gym, then bowling with the girlfriend, celebrate her friend's birthday at the barn. That sounds like a pretty awesome day. Alright, too bad we played our land. I don't think I want any of these. I'm going to hold that ponder. Because we, we might want to spell pierce something. Just to get another counter. We can get that out of here. We're gonna get we're gonna take the punishing fire shields down. And I'm actually just gonna just gonna bite the bullet here. Because this thing's effectively holding off the entire team. No. All right, let's take a look. We can actually waste them off blue, which is kind of sweet. Let's get rid of this green sun zenith. Ponder. That's pretty good. No, play this. So we have Bolt on top, they have Liliana in hand. They scoop it up. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna get we're gonna stay as low to the ground as possible against these deck this deck here. So I think we want to bring in Thoughtseize. And I think that's kind of it. And then we can just cut like in a braid. Keep our forces in, keep our days in. Yeah, laying in bed watching Magic. Good morning, we're going to be dead. Yeah, sounds like a pretty solid day. I'm going to watch the SEG today. I have to clean up a little bit. Um, upload my YouTube videos. Have them up probably on Monday and Sunday and Monday. Each one of them go up. Might play the Legacy Challenge tomorrow. Can't really, couldn't really swing the Modern Challenge today because we have I have stuff going on with later. Going to have some. Going to have my. Uh, wife sister over so that we can and her fiance so we can finish up playing our year long pandemic game. It's not exactly a year long but it's like pandemic legacy where you have like each month is a new game. It's like six inches of snow. I wish there was six inches of snow down here. I love the snow. Me and my friends finished Risk Legacy over the course of like three years. <laughs> I haven't played Risk in a long time. Uh, I think I'm going to keep this hand. 
like we kind of get browned by turn one veteran explorer, but and I guess we're supposed to keep we're supposed to fetch for and not thought seize on turn one. Unless we pick up a cantrip. I love the snow. Verdant Catacombs. Uh, yield through this turn. Probably not going to fit. Probably going to fetch a blue brand if I have to. I really don't want to daze anything either. I'd like to get this thing into play. We're not going to kill that. The snow makes everything perfect. I don't appreciate your negativity. Snow is great. It does get gross with like the mud from the road and stuff. We are not trading. Punishing fire. All right, I'm gonna actually gonna go Young Pyromancer, Thoughtseize. Yeah, that's where I came. That's where I grew up from. Small town, which made the snow look nice. Now we're gonna be pretty liberal with these dazes. All right, we got to deal with. We got to hope that we can deal with both of these deeds via these dazes, but that's pretty likely not to happen. Don't play a land. I think I'm going to waste them. Just so they can't like draw a land and deed me. Put this Delver. I put that on the bottom. Could have played it. Probably should have played it. But I'm not attacking with it, so it's like a little awkward. All right, now we're going hard. So we're going to bolt this thing. <clears throat> All right. Finish with a 3-2. Again, I like this deck. I I don't think I like this Snapcaster Mage. The Explosives is okay, but I think I can do better. Like I kind of want to make this just another Marsh Casualties. So just change this into Casualties. Make this Snapcaster like something else that's sweet. Maybe another Shatter because we're getting rid of an Engineered Explosives. So I'm down to make it a Colgon's Command to make the Lava Mancer a Dismember. Like the Lava Mancer was pretty good against that other deck we played, but that's probably the only one that's going to be super stellar against. I lost to a um, 